Okay, so for this question, they want us to use the distributive property to write two different expressions to find the area of each rectangle. So in the first example, I notice we've got 12 by 10, a 12 by 10 rectangle. So I want to write that down, 12 times 10. That's my first expression. And that's the same thing as doing 12 times 3, which is this smaller rectangle here. It's 12 by 3, right? So I'm going to write that down. Same thing as 12 by 3, and then adding in the other rectangle, which is a 12 right, by 7 rectangle, 12 tall and 7 wide. So these two expressions are equal. You could also say it's the same thing as 12 times 3 plus 7, because 3 plus 7 is 10, and that shows us how the distributive property works into this. In the second example, we have 5 times 17 and 4. We'll write it that way first. Put a dot here. You don't need a dot here, but if you put 12 by parentheses, 3 plus 7, that means 12 times the sum of 3 and 7. So 15 times the sum of 17 and 4, which is, say, is, um, not 15 times the sum, 5 times the sum of 17 and 4. So same thing as 5 times 21. You can also see with the rectangles, though, that that's the same thing as 5 times 17, this rectangle here, right? 5 times 17, and 5 times 4. So this just shows you that the distributive property works. In other words, if I give you this expression, 5 times 17 and 4, so this should be a 17, sorry, you could do 5 times 17 and then 5 times 4 and add them together. Here you can do 12 times 3 and 12 times 7 and then add them together. Or you can add what's in the parentheses first and then multiply it by 12 or 5. Alright, hope this helps.